Good evening. Welcome to Pike Creek Farm. It's, this is the Sunday after Thanksgiving and it's snowing outside, our first snow. Jim's tired of turkey leftovers. He's just not a turkey guy, but it, turkey isn't his favorite. That's okay, because I love it. So tonight I'm gonna do something different. And I said the next time I did this, I would do a video. And I'm gonna make slum gullion. Yes, slum gullion. <laughs> and if this is your first time here, my name is Renee. Thank you so much for stopping in. I like to do videos on canning and um, vintage recipes and just life here at Pike Creek Farm, our little eight acres in the thumb. Today I'm gonna to make slum gullion. We had it a lot growing up. It's one of my dad's favorites. And I'm gonna show you our version of Slum Gullion. What a weird name, weird name. I was looking it up and the first time that it was used was um, So I was looking up the origin of the word Slum Gullion and it means a stew with meat Ours is like with noodles. Uh, Mark Twain used it in a book. It was one of the first recorded ways. Um, over in England, they, it was part of the slum area. Slum gullion was a food they made. That's just things I read online. I don't know what's accurate. I don't know why my family called it slum gullion. I didn't know if it was a Detroit thing or my grandma was from Canada. I'm not sure why, but it was different than regular goulash that I would get at school or anything. Uh, first off, it was made with egg noodles, not macaroni. And that was, you know, different. So you, first thing I have water on boiling, salted water, and I'm gonna cook half of that bag of noodles. Mom, I think would cook the whole bag and she would make a big batch. We'd have it for several nights left over, which my brother didn't really like because I started thinking, why did he like it? But part of it, other than the flavor profile, was that, you know, she had to keep heating it up on the stove and I think it broke down, the egg noodles broke down. In the microwave, it doesn't do that. And I don't make enough to last for many nights, but it was my dad's favorite. So mom was just trying to keep dad happy. <laughs> the other thing that mom and grandma always put, and my dad says he misses this when he goes somewhere and has goulash is kidney beans. Dark kidney beans were one of the ingredients. So I'm gonna get everything out and start prepping it. I'm gonna put the noodles in the water that's boiling. You don't wanna overcook them. You want them just al dente, you know, because they're gonna be put back into the sauce. So I'll bring it down and we will get going on this. Okay, I'm going to cut up some celery two or three stalks. It always had celery in it. And the thing about it's not Some green pepper too, about a half to three quarters of one. This is peppers from the garden that I cut into strips and froze. The noodles are done. I am going to put them in a colander and put cold water over them to stop them from cooking. back. Now I'm going to use that same pot to cook my sauce in rather than another pot.
Let me see, get back. You can't have onion anyway. One medium onion, diced. And I suppose if you know if there's one of these ingredients that your family doesn't like, you can leave it out. I'm just showing you how mom and grandma made it and how my dad loves it. I wish he lived closer because I would take him over or invite him over for dinner tonight. Going to put one pound of ground beef. Now when mom would make this it would be a pound and a half, two pounds of ground beef and more noodles. Add some salt. Black pepper. The black pepper is important. Garlic powder. Liberal sprinkle. And then some Italian seasoning. But it's it's not a spaghetti sauce, so we don't want it to be overwhelmingly Italian spice like uh, spaghetti sauce. Let's get this started to brown, and then we will add in the vegetables. And then kidney beans that I'm going to open and drain. One can of tomato sauce. One can of tomato soup. And to mine, I always add the mushrooms. I remember I did it one time when I was in high school. And mom, when we sat down to eat, she's like, mushrooms aren't supposed to be part of it. And dad's like, well, they taste good. So, <laughs> I like mushrooms, so I've always just added them still. Mm Meat's almost cooked. I'm going to add in onion, peppers, and celery. That was a pretty big onion, so I'm not going to add it all in the celery. This I might, I'll save for dinner another night. Mushrooms, let them cook with the other vegetables. You could use fresh mushrooms. It was always made with canned mushrooms back when mom made it. I don't, you know, I don't remember. Remember her buying fresh mushrooms to make stuffed mushrooms when the company came, and that was like a a big treat so so I just want the vegetables to soften up the onions to get translucent gonna add some more garlic another pinch of salt and pepper The 
beans, which were drained. One can of tomato soup. And you could just use tomato sauce. One 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Mix this. Get some more garlic, pepper, uh, Italian seasoning, a couple of shakes of Worcestershire sauce. Turn this down and let this simmer for a little bit to let the flavors mingle together. And all we have to do is stir in the noodles. So it is not chili seasoned. It is not strongly Italian seasoned. I'm gonna taste the sauce to see if it needs anything. Some more pepper. And I'm gonna let it simmer 15 minutes, clean up the mess, put the extra onion and celery away in the fridge. And then I will stir in the pasta and I'll bring it back for that. Okay, we're gonna add in the noodles now. You know, it didn't look like a lot of noodles to me. Sorry, Missy's in the background drinking. <laughs> She's loud, but look it. It is the perfect amount. It's still saucy. I am going to put a lid on this and just let it have be on low and for everything to kind of meld together. Now you can serve this with Parmesan cheese, with cheddar cheese, mozzarella. We never did. It was served like this with bread and butter. Not garlic bread, white bread and butter. That's what we always had. That's what dad liked. So I'll bring it back when I'm gonna plate it up. Here it is all ready to serve up. It's hot. The kidney beans really add to it. Add a different texture. Not really a crunch, but a really good texture. Here it is, slum gullion. And hope you make it sometime and enjoy it. If you like this video, push the like button or share. I really appreciate it. And if this is your first time here and you wanna see more of my content, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here at Pike Creek Farm. So see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.